is End Screen Noise. My name is Colin Dixon, founder and chief analyst at End Screen Media, and today is December 12th, 2015. I see a lot of data in my daily activities, as you that read my blog will know. Uh, well, sometimes that data just doesn't jibe with other data that I've seen previously. And so this week I thought I would review three pieces of data that just didn't seem to quite fit other patterns that I'm seeing, and I'm calling this segment, it just doesn't add up. Well, the first piece of data is that you probably saw widely reported this week that Apple users watch way, way more video than Android users do on their mobile devices. Well, this stems from a report from Adobe, from actually from Adobe's Q1 2015 digital video report. And in that report, Adobe reported on smartphone video starts. And one of the things that they said was that the iPhone leads video starts with 68%. Number two in their list is Samsung Galaxy at just 19%. Way, way, way below our friends' iPhone. Uh, Motorola, Motorola Razr came in third at 8.4%, and fourth is Microsoft Lumia at 4%. Wait a minute. Microsoft Lumia? That really set me thinking that something was not quite right here. And I went back to Comscore to look at what Comscore says is the split between manufacturers in the smartphone market. Comscore says that iPhone has 43% of the market, that Samsung is in second place with 29%, but in third place is LG with 8.4%, and Motorola comes in at fourth place with 4.9%. So, does that mean that LG users watch hardly any video at all, and that's why they don't show up in the Adobe list? Or better question is, where is Microsoft in Comscore's list? If Adobe is correct, Microsoft should at least rank somewhere in there in Comscore's list, but they're nowhere to be found. Well, there are, there's other evidence that this data, this particular data point about share in smartphone video starts might be a little questionable because when we look at Freewheel, Freewheel says that on a mobile ad starts, video ad starts, is about 50-50 between Android and uh, iPhone. So, you know, I don't know what's going on with this data with Adobe, but that particular data point just doesn't seem to fit. Uh, next up, the UK's Guardian reports that 29% of VPN users worldwide have accessed Netflix in the last month. And they say that that equates to about 30, 34 million users, 34 million VPN users, of which 20 million come from China and 6 million from India. Now, each person still needs to have a Netflix account. So typically what happens is the VPN user will sign in with the US Netflix, where the content selection is the best, sign up for that account and use that. Uh, now, Netflix in Q1 reported that they had 62 million subscribers worldwide, and about 42 million of those are in the US. So PwC also says that about two-thirds of pay TV subs have access to Netflix in the US today. So that's about 66 million or 67 million uh, households have access. Now, Netflix allows up to two concurrent streams. There's about 2.6 people per home in the US. So I reckon PwC numbers implies that there are around 33 million, 34 million homes in the US that say they have access to Netflix. Well, gee, that leaves just 9 million unaccounted for, not 34 million as implied by the Guardian number. Even, even accounting for people sharing accounts still wouldn't come anywhere near this 9 million discrepancy. So, I don't know, maybe VPN usage isn't quite as bad as is being made out by The Guardian. Finally, Cisco says that uh, in its VNI, which it announced this week, 
uh, actually last week, says that by 2019, about 12.4% of all online video will be Ultra HD, with 51% being HD. So does that mean that about a fifth of all our online viewing will be Ultra HD by 2019? Well, I, the answer to that question is no, definitely not. Ultra HD takes about five times more bandwidth to deliver than HD. Uh, and that will be true even when we move to HEVC H.265, the more advanced codec, which we're currently not using generally with streaming online today. Uh, so what that if you if you crank those numbers, what that means is probably we'll just be watching one Ultra HD movie a month by 2019, something in that category. Now, so the implication that we'll be watching a lot of HD, you shouldn't infer that from the Cisco numbers. However, this is pretty good performance for Ultra HD that we would be at a stage where we're watching that much in 2019. Now, if it turns out that we're actually watching a lot more in 2019, you can bet that we'll be reporting it here on End Screen Noise. We'll see you again next time.